He's missed a bit, he's missed a bit. Now this is where I turn the power up on the steam cleaner and Adrian gets fired off the top of the ladder. And then the dog gets confused and eats him. I don't know what you're laughing about, you're getting your ass steam cleaned later. Not on really hot, just semi-hot. Now I believe this is going to Ireland. We've got a lovely little deal going where this goes to Ireland and a variety of the activated guns and a trailer and some other old stuff goes. And then what comes back is a very nice Saracen and a ferret. And I think it's the Mark II stroke 3976664 ferret that has the kind of the um, flip top turret that you can get three people in. So you can take your friends out if you've got two friends, which I personally have not Let's go and see what Robert's doing. Now, for any of you looking for Christmas ideas, um, garden gnomes are always popular, but we're doing green garden um, mushrooms, like a toadstool thing. And the cheapest way of doing it is a CVRT wheel. Not really, these are going to America. And um, these are our super duper ones that have got this mega tough, six times the wear life rubber on. And uh, we're replacing all our ones on all our CVRTs and all the ones that are coming off we're having them reconned. Now we do an exchange service and I believe we are £165 each for these ones with six times the wear life. This is exchange so if you live in another country and it's not viable to send your old ones back to us expect a bit of a surcharge. We have got normal CVRT wheels there's a load in that stillage over there but I'll be honest with you I wouldn't put them on my vehicles because I can't be asked wasting my time swapping them. And um, when you're going down the road and a big old bit of rubber like this comes flinging off and hits some cyclist in the, in the ghoulies, you're gonna get in trouble. So anyway, we've taken the, um, we've bit the bullet and here they are, beautiful. We've got to do the other side yet. Yeah? He loves a bit of spraying. Chugging away, away well on the snatches. Now we've got this ready and because it's got the camouflage netting on the sides, we thought we'd keep it in sand and keep it as a golf one. Nice tidy vehicle. Only problem is, I'm selling me three colour Englishman Humvee ones so fast. I'm trying to keep two of these, two white ones and two three coloured ones. And maybe a couple of green ones. So we've got a selection for everyone all the time. But um, it's took us a little while to get this one ready. And uh, already uh, we're finding that we're out of the three coloured camouflage. If we're not careful, the Tanks Lot's going to become a Land Rover refinishing place, and that is not what we are about at all. Um, this one here's come along nicely as well. Um, the Wolfs are going up in price, and also the mileage is going up as well, but the prices are still going up, so anyone who thinks he's get, thinking about getting a Wolf, don't hang around. I've got a bad feeling. My prediction of the £25,000 Wolf in two years' time just like they were six years ago, um, it's probably going to be about right. Now, I know we're not doing the bumpers black, but this yellow is pylon paint mixed to an army code BS361. So this paint is a anti-corrosive paint that will work on aluminium, steel, and it really works. So we just do the whole vehicle in it, and then we do the black later. And um, it seems to work for us. Yeah, quite a lot of filler work on this one. It's a little tiny dent. Um, these ones have got the aluminium on the bonnet, which when the uh, army like to dance all over them, doesn't leave quite so much damage but um, I find that most of the wolves have had um, a load of people dancing on the bonnet and on the front wings and they're always a bit dented and to get the shape is a right pain up the arse I think we'll count the bits of filler so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen 14 hoofing big one, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31, 32, 33, and the whole seals needed straightening up. And that's how much filler work you have to do to get one of these things looking minty. Um, yes, a lot of work. So when you come up to buy one off me and you say, how much is that one with the dents? And then you say, how much is that one with, that's all sprayed and looking like a new one? And I say, oh, that's 1,200 pound more. Please bear in mind that they're nagerie bars to do. And um, a lot of handwork goes into getting a good shape. But there we go. All these people who say they don't want, oh, I don't mind, it's only a Land Rover, I don't mind a few dents. You wait till they walk in the yard. Then they don't want a few dents, they want it looking like new. Over and out.